The last thing that I really wanted to have everybody take a look at before you do the before we do a test in here in week eight. Uh, we're going to be doing some of the quizzes on this stuff next week uh, in week seven here. But you can see on this one you have kind of the green and orange bones here. The green bones would be again that axial skeleton. Uh, this PowerPoint, in reality, if you look at it on here, this is the axial skeleton PowerPoint. You can use these PowerPoints as a way to kind of help yourself out and plan to study as each of the bones and the landmarks on each of them. I'm not going to go through that as a PowerPoint. I did that with a video a little bit already here, but I wanted to kind of show you the axial and the appendicular skeleton and then just talk about specifically what are some of the bony landmarks that we're doing on this list. So as you look at this here, you can see axial versus appendicular. The green bones would be the axial ones here. So again, the skull, vertebral column, rib cage, sternum, as well as the sacrum and coccyx where the appendicular skeleton is going to be the appendages, so the clavicle and scapula and upper limb, as well as kind of those fused bones of the ox coxae, the ilium, ischium, and pubis uh, are gonna be fused together to make the kind of pelvic girdle along with the sacrum, and then again, those lower limbs. So again, axial skeleton, not near as many bones as the appendicular skeleton. You can kind of again see the different colors on this one. So, and again, overall skeleton, we're looking at about 206 bones, of which you don't need to know all the names of every single bone, because there is a lot of repeats. So in reality, it's about probably one third of that is what you're being, needing to know on this. But again, we'll also be taking a look at a lot of these different landmarks. And really, that's what I wanted to kind of show you on this one, is we have these different bone markings. So most of every little bump, groove, anything on a bone has a name to it. We need to know a decent amount of these. A lot of these are, a lot of the openings are having nerves, blood vessels or other things pass through them. A lot of the raised areas are going to be muscle attachments and other things like that. Uh, there's going to be a few that you are responsible for knowing. Uh, but overall, if we kind of look at the list here, if you look at your list, you can see it really kind of fall into two main areas. You have what are called bony projections, so things that are coming out from the bone, as well as bony depressions, holes or things that are indenting into the bone. And what we're going to do is we're going to work through each of these and kind of show you what you're looking for. Then as you're working through the bone list and the bony landmarks for the stuff that you're responsible for, for the next test, you're going to know what some of these different projections and depressions are. So condyles are these raised areas here, smooth areas generally covered with cartilage, that hyaline cartilage that are a lot of times covering part of the end of the bone that's going to make part of a joint. So you can see on the femur you have the... the the lateral and medial condyles, you have the TMJ joint, the condyle on your jaw there. Uh, other projections, a couple of bones, especially those that have a ball and socket type of thing here or an expanded end of the bone. A lot of times we talk about it being the head of the bone. Uh, it's usually after it passes through a near neck, so you can see on the femur there. Other projections, especially on the vertebrae, you're going to have these facets. You see them on the ribs as well. A smooth, flat surface that can articulate with something else. Uh, a ramus is a bar-like structure bone. You have the ischial ramus as well as the ramus on your jaw right here. A crest is a raised line. Uh, near which bone, generally a line is even smaller than a crest. A lot of times you'll have a raised bump above a condyle. That is called an epicondyle. Uh, outside of that, you have the different T's. So these are always kind of fun to deal with on here. You have tubercles on these things, these are small round of projection. A slightly larger round of projection is gonna be a tuberosity. And then the largest ones, which we find only on the femur, you're gonna have a trochanter, which is a large blunt projection. We have a greater and lesser trochanter, and we only see those on the femur. Uh, we also can talk about some different projections. So like a, a spine is a pointed end or a pointed projection. So like the spinous process that you would see on the vertebrae. Outside of that, we also have depression. So these are gonna be lower areas in the bone, a flat surface, uh, a lot of times holes or openings through the bone. Uh, so on these ones, a meatus, is, this is a canal or tube, uh, generally air filled on this one. So a meatus, like the external auditory meatus. A fossa is gonna be a shallow basin or kind of canyon in a bone. I always joke around and talk about Mufasa died in a canyon. canyon. 
Uh, so you have like your glenite fossa or your mandibular fossa. A fissure is going to be a slit-like opening. Sinuses are holes within the bone, so you see those in the frontal bone here, the frontal sinus, sinus. And then a lot of times openings that allow a blood vessel or a nerve to pass through are referred to as foramen, and we talk about a lot of these with the skull. Uh, the magnum foramen being the largest one there, but we have the mental foramen, which is on this one where a nerve comes out. Uh, foramens are openings that, again, generally have a blood vessel or a nerve passing through it. A sulcus would be, uh, sulcus groove or furrow is a shallower depression than a, uh, a fossa on these ones. So you can see that, that sulcus here on the humerus, for example. And just to kind of show you here, this is the list of all these different ones here. As you look at your list of bones, you're going to see that there's a large number of these that you're being asked to know. If you're looking at the bony list, most everything that you're being asked to know is on this list in some way or another. Uh, condyles, heads, other things like that of these different bones. And again, refer to the bone lists, refer to the videos I've taped on that one. It's under the bony landmarks kind of page on Moodle. And I will talk to you again later.